I've got a picture of Building 7 in the background still standing and fuming away. It went away at, at 520 that day. So we know it's before 520 on 9-11. You're looking straight over from West Street, and you should see a 110-story building blocking your view. But there's just nothing there, right down to the ground. There's an ambulance that was parked in front of Tower 1 on West Street. Okay. And Tower 1's not there anymore. But the ambulance is there. That should have been obliterated too, don't you think? Why isn't the ambulance crushed? It's obvious there's a big lack of material there. The north tower is right here. You see you just have that shell of the facade there. And here's the south tower is right here. And there's the center of where the south tower stood. Where the hell did these buildings go? That's the, um, all that's standing at the Twin Towers right now in the background. That's all that's standing. That's it. That's all that's left. Every building with the WTC prefix was destroyed that day. It wasn't two towers. It wasn't three towers. It wasn't four towers. It wasn't five buildings, six buildings. It was seven buildings. Usually, mainstream, they would tell you, oh, Mel, but that's it's just all that debris that bumped into those buildings that were in the you know, close proximity. So they probably had structural damage and they had to be demolished. Well, then let's go see that debris that bumped into them. It, it doesn't exist. Look at WTC-6. Approximately 50% of the building's mass went away. It wasn't the outer mass. It was this hole cut in the middle down to ground level. There's nothing there. Some people say, well, stuff must have fallen in it. Well, if debris fell in it and collapsed it down, you look in the bottom of the hole, you should see something. There wasn't much of anything left of the building. You don't see toilets, you don't see desks. You really don't see anything. Nothing that you would recognize as being part of something in an office. Aside from huge pieces of twisted steel from the towers, there was little that was recognizable in the debris. No one had ever seen anything like it. I mean, you, you didn't find a, sh a, sh a shard of glass, anything that looked like would be used by a person, you just didn't see. All there was was powdered debris and metal. We're talking here about 43,600 windows, 600,000 square feet of glass, 200,000 tons of structural steel, 5 million square feet of gypsum, 6 acres of marble, and 425,000 cubic yards of concrete, turned in good part into a cloud. Perhaps the most astonishing object Shate found is something there should have been thousands of. This one probably only survived because it was in the basement. It belonged to an ice cream store. You can see what remains of the uh, file folders that were inside. It was the only file cabinet found. They were able to identify what store it was from and they called up the store owner and said, hey, we got your money and they gave them their money. When you have paper flying, but you can't see a toilet, a desk, or anything else. You have all this paper flying all over Manhattan, and yet, in the rubble, there wasn't one file cabinet wrecked or anything. I think they found one. The most amazing part of it is those two little pimples where there's an arrow that points that people survived here. And that's like right under the tower. Mickey Cross feared they would all be dead before anyone found them. I had no idea what was over us. I'm thinking 110 stories. How much rubble that is, how if they start pulling it apart, how long would it take for them to get to us? They assumed they were buried under such debris that They'd be dead by the time anyone found them. But then, 
the strangest thing happened. This beam of sunlight came right in on us. After the dust settled, they looked up and saw blue sky. I'm like amazed now. It's <laughs> a 110 story building above us, and I'm looking up at the sun. <laughs> the descriptions they gave were not of a building falling on top of them, were not of bombs exploding around them. It wasn't high heat, they didn't get cooked, they didn't get squashed. I looked up and said, guys, there used to be 106 floors above us, and now I'm seeing sunshine. There's nothing above us. That big building doesn't exist. These are the biggest office buildings in the world, and I didn't see one desk, one chair, one phone, nothing. There's nothing much left. There's a few beams here and there, a few columns, but it's pretty much at ground level. Where did the towers go? Where did the towers go? Where did the buildings go? Where did the towers go? Ten years.